Alright, uh, I'm going to do some more rock intros and stuff. Um, provided my camera stays on. Uh, we're going to start back again uh, where I left off at earlier. Uh, matter of fact, we'll just start over. Um, we'll do Van Halen. Uh, see, I did done a eruption, I think. Okay, let's... Uh, uh, let's do comfortably be numb, Pink Floyd, then we're going to work our way back down, do some other stuff. I'm going to do this real quickly. Alright. Like I say, this is the intros to different rock songs, okay? Anyway, let me try this again. See if I can get the chords right. It's rhythm right too. <sighs> anyway, that's that's just the the chords to comfortably numb, and this is a little bit of the hey you. By Pink Floyd, you know, the song Hey You. It's like I said, this is only just what I know of the song, what I've got wrote down. Anyway, that's all I know, man, of Hey You, you know, by Pink Floyd. You just you just kind of keep the rhythm right. Uh, I can play it backwards. It's not going to sound as good. But anyway, uh, this is the chorus to Comfort Numb. Comfort, excuse me. Comfortably Numb is B minor, A, G, G, F sharp. 
E minor back to B minor, done kind of in tone, not real fast, but just keep it in tone. I got to check my camera. In between these these videos, I got to check my camera now and make sure I'm still running. I've got a lot of intros I want to do. If I had somebody to sit here and film me with a damn camera, I could film and I could I could sit back and just play as many as I wanted and not have to worry about it. I've got nobody to film. I have to do all this work on my own. So, yeah, I just pray for me that I'll get somebody to help me, you know. It sucks when you have to do every darn thing on your own. Anyway, that's uh that's the music, you know. Like I said, this is this is comfortably numb. Uh and you go a B minor. Keep the tone, you know, you gotta hear the tone. Anyway, that's uh, all I know with that, with uh, Comfortably Numb. That's just the chords. Uh, I've got B minor, A, G, G, F, E minor. It's just five or six chords. And you can play just about the whole song, man, with five or six chords. If you get the tone right. You know, the key is getting the right, proper tone to the music. Okay. Uh, now, I can go backwards and play Hey You, but it's not going to sound right. Anyway, then we'll go frontwards, okay? Anyway, that was backwards and frontwards with what little note structure I have here on Hey You by Pink Floyd. All right, the next one we're going to do is Eric Clapton, Tears in Heaven. We're going to play this out real slow. Let's get rolling. Wait a minute, I did it wrong. Alright, that's the notes. Uh, then, like I said, we'll play it another way, okay? notes, here's the chords.
like I said, it all depends on how you how you do the uh, check my camera again. <laughs> Alright, anyway, that's uh let me let me kinda add a little tone to it. Tone it down a little bit and see what you think. Anyway, man, that's all I know on clapping. Um, like I say it's just getting that proper tone to get the key right, you know. Anyway, this is Journeys. Who's crying now? Anyway, that's Eric Clapton. You know, you do it. A is A, G sharp, F sharp minor, A, B, C sharp minor. Seven six four two seven six two eight eight eight. You start minor anyway. Let me make sure I'm right on the chords. Hell, I ain't right on the chords. <laughs> chords is... That's E7, Sue's 4. F sharp. Yeah, F sharp is here. And the G sharp's right here. I had it backwards on the sharps. I can't hardly play that damn thing. Anyway, F sharp majors. I had to sit down and practice it more, but it's, um, anyway, let's see where I'm at. 
All right, but anyway, G sharp, you got to kind of come down here. Let's see. And play a G sharp like this. And then an F. E7, 6, 4. And then an F sharps like this. I know this is an E7. G sharp is it's hard to play a G sharp. You son of a gun. He play a shitting thing when I get want to. Anyway, you go A, play softly now, play, and you go E, and you do this damn G sharp that I can't hardly do. <laughs> Got to stretch your hands out a certain way, and I got to wussy out and play it the, play the girl's way. Anyway, that's that's all I know on Tears in Heaven. It's a pretty hard song, man. Uh, not many people can play it as good as Clapton. <laughs> uh, anyway, go A, E, G sharp, F sharp minor, A on E, D, F sharp, E7, Seuss 4, E7, A, A, E, G sharp, F minor. It's Tears in Heaven, and I did the best I could. Next song we're going to do is Journey, Who's Crying Now. Uh, this song, we'll do the chorus first because the notes are pretty tough. Here's the notes. Anyway, that's all I know on Who's Crying My Journey. All right, let's go to Greg Almond Brothers. Got to check my camera in. Help. Yeah. Twenty minutes already. Shit. All right, I'm.
Diamond Brothers, man. This is, uh, what we're going to do is, we're going to do uh, Sweet Melissa, or Melissa, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't have the notes to Statesboro Blues, okay? I have the chords, I don't have the notes. Let's do the, let's do the notes to uh, Sweet Melissa. Uh, We're going to do it from top to bottom, okay? Okay. Come on, Lord, help me on this song. Funny, I can play Sweet Melissa, but I can't play Tears in Heaven. <laughs> F sharp minor seven. Oh, well. F sharp minor seven. Oh, Lord. I got to go back over this again. Sorry. Sharp minor seven. <laughs> oh shit. It's crazy. Uh -oh. That sucks. <whistles> F sharp minor seven. I don't have it. Sharp minor seven. I guess I could play it in whole tone. I needed to study this damn song before I started playing it. Okay, got to be minor eleventh.
I know on Sweet Melissa, man. Sorry, C7. Statesboro is kind of a hard song. Um, let me get the chords in my head. C7, F7. C7, F7, G7. I check my damn camera again. Hard to keep all this stuff in order, you know. Let's go to C7. According to this, this is a C7. C7. And you got a F7. G7 here. The hell did I do with it? I just can't play other people's music, man. It wasn't meant for me to play other people's music. That's a good song on Statesboro Blues. I used to. That's. Anyway, that's all I know of it, man. It's a C7. C7, F7, G7, C7. Let me see if I can keep them all in order. I don't have to refer back, you know. Sucks having to refer back to stuff. When I take the damn paper out, that way I'm going to study the cord, huh? <laughs> So you can study it. C7. We'll get it right though here in a minute. Well, hell, I can't find the F7. I ain't got to refer back to it. By half of sleep this today. Sucks when you can't get shit right. Alright, C7. Like I said, uh, Stagesboro Blues is, is pretty much, this is a hard song, man. Rhythm, lead, rhythm or lead. Uh, you go C7. F7 G7 
Played really, really quick now. Go back over here. I said I'm having to refer back to my paper here because I can't play by ear and a damn sure can't do it no other way. So, like I said, Statesboro Blues by the Almond Brothers, okay? It's C7th. From what I learned offline, I, and I'm going to tell you, this ain't the way they do it, okay? All they do is sit around and play guitar all day. And I got other things to do. So you can probably tell I'm not good at playing other people's music, no way. But you just get the rhythm right and you damn sure mess up and do something with it. Anyway, I done messed around too much on that. All right, that's Statesboro Blues, like I said. You know, it's a C7, F7. You know, I know, I remember the G7. <laughs> uh, let's see, C7. Hell, I can't remember that. And then F's down here, F7. And it just played really, really quick. C7, F7, G7. You know, they're just played really, really quick together. I need to, I need to kind of keep this in order here. All right, so you go C7. And like I said, I just ain't practiced it, man. I just don't play other people's music. I mean, sorry, y'all. I mean, I, I just don't. I've got so many different intros, so many different songs. that I just don't have the time, man, to sit back and down and practice like they do or other people, you know. Anyway, it's C7. You know, you do a C7. Well, I got the time. I just don't take the time to do it. Okay. C7. And then you got F7. Okay. So you got a C7. Okay. Then you go do a G7. Do the same thing over. F7. Where the fuck? C7. Where you at? Wait a minute. You go F7. C7. G7. Anyway, you just do that over and over again, man. And that's, that's Statesboro Blues. I mean, that's pretty much the rhythm to it. That's not the lead. There's a shitload of chords on that song that I don't know. But anyway, it's C7, F7. G7 is what it, what I learned, and I went back and played it over and over again, and that's that's pretty close. Uh, see, I, let me check my phone again. I said I, I wished I had the look, the, the 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 ability to play by ear, just listen to a song, just sit back and play it. God didn't ain't give me that talent yet, you know, so. I just have to do the best I can, man. Look online and try to listen to other people play and listen to the song. And I don't listen to much rock and roll, man. I'll be honest with you. I, uh, I'm not a big time music fan. I, I, I love music, but I don't sit around and practice other people's music. I, I write instrumentals, okay? I'm an instrumentalist rhythm guitarist. I don't sit around and play other people's music, nor do I listen to what they do. So for me to sit back and do other people's music, it's 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 you know it's like taking on a new job. It's like you got to get redo the tone, the music that, that you do, and retone it back to some, what somebody else is doing, and it's not easy. Okay, 
Now, the next one we're going to do is uh, Tom Petty, Last Dance for Mary Jane. And like I said, this is only the rhythm to it. And it's very close. I played it uh, before I practiced it. Okay? So this one I won't have to refer much to the notes because I know the chords. sing and play. <laughs> That's Tom Petty's Last Dance for Mary Jane. Let's move on. I got a lot of stuff to do here. Alright, this is R.E.M. Orange Crush. Play really fast. Orange Crush, and like I said, you got to play it really, really fast. Let me check my camera in, yeah, man. Is that sucker? Yeah, it's still on. 40 minutes already. Good, 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 baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Rock and roll it, man. I'm a rock and roller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish I could kick as high as David Lee Roth and had a tongue as big as Gene Simmons. <laughs> All right, uh, Stone Temple Pilots, man, y'all ready? No, I had to practice much on this one. I know a lot about this song. This is the this is the chords. Anyway, this is Stone Temple Pilots, man, and, and this song is called Big Empty. Uh, like I said, it's just that's the the chords are E minor seven, C seven, G, and a G minor. Why they put G minor, I don't know, but I'm going by my notes here that I 
study from some dipwad offline, okay? It's, it's close. It's close. Now, let's do the, uh, okay, let's stop talking. Let's do the, uh, let's do the notes to it. Okay, here we go. Here's the notes. Wait, am I just messed up? Then you go back over here and do an A. That's all I know on uh, Big Empty by STP, Stone Devil Pilots. Only song I really like by them is they made a lot of good songs, but you know they made Vaseline, they made you know a lot of good songs, but I think that was the one that sticked out in my mind the most. Anyways, E minor seventh, C seven G G minor. You know, you spread the neck out, play it. All right, this is Kiss. Lick it up. Um, we're on an A fifth. You start at A fifth. Now I've got to refer back because I don't know the damn. I got to refer back to my notes on the on the chords. A fifth. B minor seventh. And then F fifth. It's bad when you can't remember what in the hell the darn notes are on here. Funny, I can remember an L fifth, but I can't remember a G fifth. Pretty sure that's where it was at. Yeah, chords a fifth b minor seventh a g b minor seventh a f fifth and g fifth which is which are power chords okay here's the notes wait a minute
Anyway, I don't know if that's right or not. We can play from the bottom up. chords again. play it in the sequence. Let's do the notes and the chords together. Okay? Play it from the let's play from the bottom down. all I know on Kiss is Lick It Up. <laughs> I think Paul Stanley can do a lot better job. <laughs> hell, anyway, what the hell. Alright, let's do some more intros, man. Let's see how my camera's doing. No, oh, excuse me. 49. Have a damn hour's worth of footage on this thing. Uh, say here's Live House. Let's let's play a little gospel, man. This is Live House. Um, um, this is the notes to the song Everything. Um, pretty much the intro. Let's do the chorus first. C-sharp minor. We'll have to play it like this. Play it with just regular minor. I don't know what a C sharp minor is.
let's see what the note sounds like. I ain't played this practice this song in a while. Mm -hmm. 